If a mistake has been made and you wish to turn all the settings back to factory reset and start over from the beginning, this is how you do it. Press menu. Go down eight times till you reach for service man. Press OK. Input the password 234 and press OK. Scroll down to 10, restore factory settings and press OK. A warning message will appear ensuring that you want to restore the settings. Select yes and press OK. Press back until you get to activate the settings and exit. Select yes and press OK. Press OK if you need to wake the screen and hold the padlock button if it is locked. Now we are going to run the heat pump in hot water mode. Press right to highlight the DHW side of the screen. Press on off. Notice the three wavy lines next to the tap symbol. This means DHW mode is turned on. Note how the middle of the controller is now showing the tap to indicate it's actually heating the tank. If you look at your three port valve, you should see it has moved across from B to A and the flow from the heat pump will be flowing around your cylinder coil. If you notice your valve is the wrong way round and when in hot water mode it heats the house and in heating mode it heats the water, you do not need to change the valve around. Look inside your unit and your wiring for the SV1 three port valve terminals and move your live from five to six or six to five. This will reverse the three port valves operation. At this point, please check the number shown on the PCB inside the heat pump. If this is below 10 degrees, the compressor will not start. To increase this temperature, turn on the immersion heater and the warm water in the cylinder will heat the primary pipe work. Once the compressor starts, please deactivate the immersion heater. After a few minutes, the circulation pump symbol will appear in the center of the screen. This tells you that the internal circulation pump is running. Shortly after this, the compressor symbol should appear under the hot water side of the controller. After 20 minutes of heating the hot water cylinder, we advise that you record the hot water commissioning data section within the handover booklet. Please see advised flow rates shown in the right corner of the schematic shown previously. After about 90 minutes, the heat pump will drop out of hot water mode. Please note, when hot water mode is on, pump O will turn off. This is a useful thing to tell your homeowner when hot water mode is on, pump O will not run. It's important to mention that during the Legionella disinfection cycle, we use the immersion heater to carry out this function. On the media heat pump, the immersion heater is controlled via third party controls. This will either be a time clock, which should be set up to run for two hours once a week to achieve 60 degrees, or a Tesla smart thermostat, which once powered will carry out a Legionella cycle every 15 days. Please ensure immersion thermostat is turned to 65 degrees. We recommend running the cycle at night. Once hot water is satisfied, you can now turn the thermostat up to cold heat to the property. Once again, the circulation pump symbol should appear in the central part of the controller. The compressor symbol will appear below the heating section shown on screen. SV1 should now be in position B and the hot water produced by the heat pump should circulate to the buffer vessel or hydraulic separation. Pump O should now be activated and pumping the warm water to the emitter circuit. Once again, please complete the commissioning data after about 20 minutes. The flow rates may be slightly different to those shown on the schematic as the internal circulation pump will modulate dependent on demand. If you want to see what's happening within the system, open the controllers menu, locate operation parameter, press OK, and you will see a list of the system's information. On page 16 of the manual, you can see a list of what this menu will provide. To return to the original screen, you need to press back until presented with the home screen. Now the unit is running heating and hot water, you need to register the unit for warranty using the Freedom Heat Pumps website. You must provide a photo ID, unit serial number and postcode using the Freedom Heat Pumps handover book. Once the warranty is completed, you can hand over to the homeowner. Complete the media installer test, achieving more than 7 out of 10 will make you an approved media installer.